Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is Jesse here, and I am back for kind of a part low vision spotlight, uh, but mostly a game streaming video. Uh, this is a playlist that I just started recently as I'm recording this. Uh, earlier this year, I did a video on Google Stadia, now we are going to look at a competitive service that just uh, came into being not very long ago. In fact, you can't even sign up for it unless you get an invite. Uh, this is an invite-only service. I happen to just get an invite email from Amazon earlier today as I'm recording this. Popped in a couple to a couple little games very briefly here and there, but we are looking at <clears throat> Amazon's new Luna streaming service. This is, again, a game streaming service kind of like Stadia or GeForce Now or X xCloud, or I think they renamed it. I forget what they renamed it to. But, you know, there's getting to be, and this is why I created the playlist, because game streaming is becoming more of a thing these days. Is it ready for prime time? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Is, you know, is there a definitive answer to how to charge for this? Definitely not. But it is still intriguing. So, the, I mean, the premise is, is that if you have a decent enough internet connection, you don't have to just download these ginormous games, but you can stream them just like you would uh, your iTunes or uh, Amazon... Uh, Amazon Music or, um, you know, Netflix, Hulu, any number of these audio or video streaming services. You can stream it on your phone, your PC. You know, you can stream it on like a really crappy, uh, like you could even do it on a Chromebook if you wanted, because you can do it through the Chrome browser, which is what we're looking at here. Uh, PC, Mac, mobile. Um, now, the difference that I can tell so far between Stadia and and Luna is that, you know, Stadia kind of has its thing where mostly you have to pay the subscription, but then you have to buy the games outright. You don't just get the games with your Stadia subscription. Now, if you get a Stadium Pro subscription, you can get a small number of titles for free via your premium membership, <clears throat> but... Uh, which I did do when I was when I tried the Stadia service earlier this year. I got a few titles, but I have since canceled my Pro membership. Um, now Amazon is kind of like it's almost like a cable package sort of a deal where you have different types and tiers of subscriptions. Like you have your your basic um, Luna subscription. And that is like five, five, six bucks a month. I'm on a seven day free trial right now. And, you know, that's something, especially if it's an invite only thing, I think really to really to put the, the, the streaming service to the test, let people hammer at it for a while. I think as long as it's an invite only thing, um, I really kind of wish it were free or at the very least that you get like at least maybe like a 30 day trial Maybe, you know, these early invites, I wish they got longer trial periods because, you know, we, it's not that we want to play all the games necessarily, but like we really want to test the service with a variety of different types of content. And as new content gets added, you know, how does, how do things shake up, you know? Um, but I have a seven day trial. It just is tied to your Amazon account. You can play with keyboard and mouse. Uh, you can play with uh, supported controllers, PS4, Xbox One controllers. And they do have a Luna controller. Um, I do have NVDA running right now because um, I want to show you started. some of the accessibility. Getting but if I click button. on Getting Started D download and, install and I Luna scroll on down, PC. here is a picture of the... I keep wanting to call it Stadia. If I do that from time to time, I apologize. It's just kind of instinctual because I'm used to saying Stadia more than Luna at this point. But here is the Luna controller. It looks very Xbox-esque. Um, you have the offset analog sticks, which I like way better than the PS controllers. You have the D-pad. You've got your four face buttons, your trigger, triggers and bumpers. 
<coughs> you got your basically your home button, your share or your back button and your or your menu button and your whatever this is. Similar types of stuff there. And then I'm not sure what the bottom one is. I'm, I can't quite tell, but I will learn that eventually because I'm going to be doing a hardware review on that video sometime in the fairly near future because uh, Luna also gave me, uh, they didn't give it to me for free, but they gave me a fairly significant discount as an early invitee uh, to their service. So I, I thought, you know what, I'll buy the controller and see what it's like. Now, the other thing about the Luna controller and the Stadia controller, for that matter, one of their reasonings for wanting you to own these is that you connect these controllers directly to their services. So you're not really connecting to their to your PC per se, but you can pair it so that you're connecting to... Um, in this case, Amazon's service, which theoretically is supposed to cut down on latency compared to using a regular controller as to how realistic that is. I will have to wait and see because the controller isn't supposed to arrive until I want to say around the end of the week or so. So that is the Luna controller. We're going to be doing a hardware review. Choose where that. you want to play. Download. And right here on this page, you even have choose where you want to play. You can do to get mi Windows, Windows, to get missing image descriptions. Mac, PC slash Mac browser, PC get... or Mac browser. It's got to be Chrome, I believe. Um, we have Fire TV, iPhone slash to get and missing iPhone image. iPad. And I should also mention when I did buy the controller, they had a little add-on uh, where you get basically a phone clip for said Luna controller. And you can connect it to your phone and the controller so that you're not trying to figure out how to hold the, the phone and uh, the controller or whatever at the same time. So get we'll take a look image. at that in, the, in an, another video. But let's pop back to our main screen here. Oh, is that a separate window? Amazon. Okay, here we go. So what I do want to show you is the website for Luna seems fairly okay. Um, is it perfect? No, not necessarily, but I find that the website is a little bit easier in Chrome to navigate than the actual app. So I have Luna up here in Chrome, Amazon Luna row one column. Two. And I also Amazon have Luna. Amazon Luna. <clears throat> this is their actual desktop app. So if I go control home, amazon.com play control document. Okay, so I'm going to go back. Let's see if it'll... Amazon.com. Okay. Play control document HTTP. So let's go to the home page here. Amazon.com. Play control document. I'm hitting tab. Pre previous slide button. Next slide button. One slash eight grouping. So there's a carousel of eight slides. I cannot treat this like a HTML document or a rich text document where I can't hit H for heading. It does nothing in the app. So... I either have to, I can't even arrow right now. I have to tab. H H H. Two slash eight. Learn more. Three slash eight grouping. Learn more button. Four slash. Learn more button. So there's, it doesn't tell you much of anything. It's just telling you three, four of eight, and then learn more, learn more. Um, each one of these has a learn Five more button. Five slash eight group. Learn more. Si learn more. Seven. Learn more. Eight slash eight. Learn more button. Go to slide one button. Go to slide two. Go to slide three button. But if I tab far enough. Go to enough, slide four button. Go to slide five button. Go to slide six button. Continue playing section. So now we get to the continue playing section. Now, if I'll show you on the website, these are actually headings. So Amazon could do some work if they wanted to make their native Windows app more accessible. I don't know how the Mac version is going to react with VoiceOver because um, I don't really have a Mac to play with for that. Um, but that's something you guys can explore with if you're interested uh, once it comes out for everybody. So we have our recently played left or carrot, continue playing. Continue playing sec left carrot button unavailable. One slash four grouping. Game two slash Oops. one slash four grouping. Game tile Castlevania anniversary collection link visited. So I've played four games so far a little bit. Castlevania anniversary collection. Two slash four grouping. Game tile control link visited. Control. Um, that is a game that I still have to cover on the channel at some point. Three slash four grouping. Game tile Sonic Mania Plus link visited. Sonic Mania Plus. Four slash four grouping. 
Game tile abduction link. And abduction. I have only put a few minutes into each one of these, so I haven't really done much with any of them. But if I keep tabbing... Right carrot button unavailable. Editor's pick section. So now we have the editor's picks. Um, and again, the only way that I'm really going to be able to navigate this is tab and shift tab. Right carrot button unavailable. There's really not... Four slash four grouping. A quick way to get around this, at least from what I can tell. Tile. Abduction. HTTPS E five hundred and fifty dash four of one. I mean, dash object eight, navigation eight, bottom, bottom, is a top, little squirrely. Game tile abduct a a six dash. Yeah. So, but if I go back to the website, HTTPS HTT now clickable. because I'm in Chrome. Main landmark. Continue playing. Heading level two. Continue playing. Heading level two. I can just arrow down. Button unavailable. Left carrot. Clickable one slash four grouping visited link game tile Castlevania anniversary or I can collection. Tab. So let's say that I want that. Okay, we go to our page. Icon for play now Tabbing. button, graphic play now button. Let's play now. Am press and hold ESC to exit full screen alert. Amazon.com. You see play a Castlevania ad, anniversary collection. Ad banner there for a Main second. landmark clickable. And I'm going to leave NVDA running for the moment unless it really starts to interfere. I am going to use a controller, my Xbox Elite controller for this because I don't have the Luna controller just yet. And I want to move my mouse so that hopefully... I don't know why I have that bar on the bottom that wasn't there before. So let's say that I want, oh, I don't know. How about uh, Castlevania 2? Classic Nintendo game. I also own these already on Steam. And I can't remember if I recorded a video for this or not, but I am gonna cover this collection on a channel. Konami did release both a, a uh, Castlevania and a Contra. So Castlevania 2 here had this kind of non-linear aspect to it. You know, you had your action parts, but then you had these castle towns. These guys here uh, would always sell you stuff, but you have to get hearts in order to purchase it, which is kind of weird because hearts in most games is for health, but most Castlevania games, it is kind of your resource for your secondary weapons. And in this case, they throw that out all together and they say, oh, well, no, it's currency. So let's kill some zombies. This game had its issues and it was really obtuse in some areas, but damn if the music isn't good. Castlevania has always had fantastic music. And so far, it's running perfectly. I don't really notice much of any lag. This afternoon I did a little bit. I would get some audio artifacting, like you would kind of chop up, or I would get some sort of weird, like, audio effects. But right now, I think it's running even better than it did this afternoon. Now this is an 8-bit game, so there's not really a whole lot of data to uh, have to worry about streaming. The thing is probably, what, a few K tops. I mean, remember how small these Nintendo games were? Jump up here. Oh, oh, I hate that. Oh. Yes, yes, the transfer to day to night, which you have to always inform me of via a text box. See the angry video game nerd for that one. Jump. Kill it, and when it's nighttime, enemies are stronger. So they would normally take like, oh, you bastard! All right, well, ah, oh, the Castlevania knocked that. Oh, really? Wow. Okay. I'm just gonna run away. Whoopsie. Oh, a little Castlevania slow down there, but that was the game, not the streaming. Come here, buddy. I'm just playing this a little bit just so you can see. Gameplay-wise, no issues at all. I want to go to Castlevania 4, though, because that one, I did notice some weird artifacting, but now that this one is behaving really well, let's find out, actually. Let's, uh... Exit. Yes. And let's go to Super Castlevania 4. 
Super Castle 4. Oh, this has got some good music in it too. This is the Super Nintendo version. Or the one of the main ones. You also had Castlevania, not Bloodlines, that was Genesis. Uh, what the hell was the other one? Castle, uh, Dracula X, that's what the other one was. But this one was way better. I'm just going to say J. Enter our name. So I want to see what kind of artifacting we get here, or sort of what weird glitches we get. Because this one, I noticed some minor issues. There seems to be maybe a little bit of lag. Some of it seems sort of, uh, most of it seems imperceptible, but for some times I can definitely tell. Okay, we go on the drawbridge. And we get some good music coming up here. Super catchy. All this is being streamed. And we're going to do something more demanding, trust me. But I just want to show you some variety. And these older games, you know, yes, they are... You know, there's not as much you have to worry about streaming. But... I really do want to test with these old games because so many of them had really twitchy, um, like you had to have really good reflexes. Um, and if you have any sort of input lag, a lot of these games just did not work very well. Let's check something here. Oh crap, there's more, okay. Damn bats. All right, let's jump up here. There we go. Bust that guy up. Oopsie. Stupid bats again. Da -da 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 -da. So catchy. Kill that guy. Won't go too much longer. We'll move on to something else, but... I don't notice as many audio hiccups as I did. Oh, I don't even have a sub weapon yet. Okay, it grabs... Oh, I gotta get up here. Okay, hang on. Die, skeleton. Okay. That, oh, crap, hang on. Pay for that, bud. Haha, bat. Saw you that time. I'll probably die here pretty soon anyway, because I'm terrible at these games. I got pretty far into Castlevania 4, but I don't think I ever beat it. It's some really cool Mode 7 stuff from back in the day, though. I remember that. This part's cool because you actually use your whip as a ghost oh, Nikes. Use it as a grappling hook. Right up here. Kill it. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Swing, little man. Got those. There we go. So far so good. Uh, it's like the next screen or two, I think, is where I screw up. There's like these bridges that fall. Yeah, I'm getting far fewer uh, weird audio glitches and little bits of lag than I did earlier today. Which is surprising, because I would think with more people... Well, I was going to say with more people at home in the evening you think it would be better during the day. But COVID, you know, everybody's at home and everywhere. Anyway, so... It probably doesn't make a hell of a lot of difference these days, does it? Okay. Continuing through the courtyard here. Oh yeah, this is screen. Okay, I remember now. 
Ow. Hey. Yeah, I forgot about those. Yeah, I'm getting not really any lag or anything right now. It's actually performing pretty well. Oops. Come on, come back here, you stupid enemy thing. Alright, so again, really just doing this as a technical test anyway. Uh, if I hit Shift Tab, just like a lot of your list with three Steam items left, carry graphic things. Castlevania Anniversary Collection button. So now we have our NVDA back. Exit game button. Let's yes, exit. Exit the game button. Yes, exit the game. Amazon.com. Play Castlevania Anniversary Collection. Okay, so now after every game that you play, at least in its current form, this again, this is an early testing time right now, invite only, it asks you what your experience was like. And I'm going to cheat. Castlevania just, Anniversary. Well, actually. Clickable, how would you rate your gameplay session? Button excellent, no issues. Button good, minor issues. I really didn't see any issues. I think there was one hiccup when the game first started. Otherwise... Button excellent, no issues. I didn't have any issues that time. Now, one issue that I do want to bring up is I tried it in the browser first, and I could not get... Uh, I could not get the... Uh, I could not get Luna to recognize my Xbox controller. It would say, I tried to launch Castlevania, the collection, and it would say, oh, you need a controller hooked up. I'm like, well, I do have an Xbox controller hooked up, and you said that you support that. Amazon.com. So, I don't know, but then once I installed the local client, that worked fine with the controller, and then once I tried the web version again... Then it seemed to recognize the controller perfectly fine. So that, you know, like I said, you can navigate the website a bit easier if you're using a screen reader like NVDA. So I could... Main landmark, continue playing editor's picks heading level there's two. There's my editor's picks. Newly added to Luna heading level two. Newly added. Luna plus channel heading level two. Okay, Luna plus channel. Ubisoft plus channel beta heading level two. Now, like I said, there are different tiers or different subscriptions. I just have the basic Luna Plus thing right now as a free trial. But what they're going to do is they're going to add different sort of channels. Kind of like, again, you think of your cable system. You have your basic cable. Then you can add on extra subscriptions, you know, Showtime, HBO, um, whatever premium channels you want. So if you want a bunch of the Ubisoft games, I would imagine EA will probably be on there at some point. Who knows what other curation type <clears throat> channels that they will have but trending games heading level yeah, two trending no next heading so that there's not too many here right now i don't know exactly how many games are in their library but they have some indies they've got some triple a titles in here i mean control is a pretty good one uh i'm gonna go back and i'm just gonna kill nvda just so we can NVDA move on i'm gonna do a little bit more with the mouse and now i just want to show you how the service performs so I am going to play another classic game because this one is, again, really dependent on, um, I would say, really dependent on not having lag. I covered this game on the channel Sega! when it came out, this recent Sonic. Um, the heck do they call it? Sonic. Uh, damn, that's loud. Sonic Mania. Okay, are you going to let me play, or...? See, now it's not recognizing the controller again. Uh, why are you not recognizing the controller? Oh, we got a cheesy cutscene. Okay. Okay, so interestingly... I'm still having issues with this, so I'm going to quit. I'm going to shift tab, exit. Yes. Uh, I'm not going to comment right now because... So I'm going to switch back to the actual client, and now I'll try Sonic Mania again on the client instead of the web browser. And now it should probably recognize the controller. So 
I don't know Big why up. that seems to be an issue. I don't get it, but sometimes a controller works, sometimes it doesn't. You know, obviously they want you to use their controller, but yeah, so now I can now I can get it to run. You're working fine with the controller. Yada yada. Yada yada. Let's just do a, a new game here. Again, very responsive. And I love the remade music of this. It just sounds really good. You notice when I played Castlevania 2, it was mono. Castlevania uh, 4 sounded stereo. It's all based on the original A little bit of this. All right, classic Sonic One. Green Hill Zone. Oh, such classic music. This may be a little bit of input lag. Not much. I felt like it was a little bit more of this earlier today. Again, right now it doesn't feel bad at all. Oh, come on, really that didn't look like I thought I could slam that. Yeah, it feels pretty good right now. Listen for any sort of weird audio glitches. Or I don't notice any visual glitches. Oh yes, this is where. Oh no, this isn't where Spike is. Yeah, there's some Spike is. Dare you? Sonic's handling a little squirrely. I always found it a little... Uh, I'm not even sure what the right word is. Not as precise as Mark. Floaty. Loose. Alright, we get our bonus stage. I know how they did it in the world games, but somehow they did chaos in somehow, but I don't know how to do that. Okay, you got that. Okay, I gotta get enough of these. Again, I'm not really playing for skill, I'm just rushing through things and hoping that I succeed. 
really looking for any sort of video or audio glitches in this video, I haven't found it. all my rings. So let's shift tab out of this. You saw a couple of classic games. Now we're going to play a game that came out recently. AKA Control. Okay, uh, no, I don't have any issues with it. Let's go back and let's play some Control. Now, the one thing that was really curious about with this is I know on a regular PC rig, if you have a 2080 or 3080 or, you know, RTX card, they added, later on, they added ray tracing support. Now, I don't necessarily know if the Luna version supports that. I looked under the options or the settings. I'll show you that here in a minute. And I have to suspect there's probably more visual options on the standard PC version because there's only like three or four options under graphic settings here in control, which is a bummer because that to me, this would be one of the greatest points or values of streaming a game, especially if you don't have a really high-end PC. Because if you're handling all of the processing power via the cloud and it's just shooting you an image, you know, why shouldn't I be able to run the patched version of this game that has everything cranked up with ray tracing, you know? Um, granted, you're only going to be running it at 1080p. That's what it's it's saying that it's streaming at, but that's fine. All I have is a 1080p monitor. But even at 1080p, I would rather have... I would want to see what the ray traced version looks like. So let's... Uh, we're going to use keyboard and mouse for this one. So we're doing a mixture. I've done a couple of uh, controller games. Now we're going to go under... You know, we're going to use our... Um, keyboard and mouse here so display look at this you have brightness you have okay film grain you have motion blur and reset to defaults okay i stand corrected we only have three options i have to imagine the regular pc version gives you a lot more flexibility which to me I would love to know for fully, like especially AAA games like this, I would love to know what actual graphic quality settings. There's no indication. It's just what you get is what you get. Are you running it on high? Do you have, you know, I mean, yes, I can turn motion blur and, and uh, stuff like that on and off, but there's only two options there. I do own this... You know what we might do if I'm, I'm going to try to remember, I think I have control installed onto the Epic Game Store. Maybe we'll pop into that and just see. Um, maybe we'll pop into that at, at the end of this video here. And just for comparison, I want to know what other graphics settings this has. Control is also a game that I want to cover for real. This is going to be weirder. On the channel can't be helped because oh is it gonna make me do the whole intro over i thought it would let me so here i am can i skip this okay uh there's a hole hidden by hello okay cool anyone here i want to get to the actual gameplay like i will cover probably some cutscenes or something when i cover this game for real but again, I want to show you, this is a fully, you know, this is a modern uh, Xbox One PS4 game. Uh, it's available on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, I believe. Like I said, they've added ray tracing support to the PC version and the next-gen console versions. Uh, let me crank up my audio a little bit here again. And...
So, I mean, I'm moving the camera around pretty quickly. Not really noticing any hitches. We got some nice uh, bloom lighting coming in from the windows up there. Um, I, like I said, I, I want to know... There's not really much telling me right now if ray tracing is enabled. I, I don't have HDR because my monitor doesn't support that because I have a fairly old monitor but you know whatever alas it is what it is but I want to see how well this uh, this performs and so far it's good um, I've I have not played much of this. I played it shortly after it came out, but I found that I sucked at it. And another reason that I really want to cover Control now is they added, and, and it is in this uh, Luna version of the game. If I go under Options here, and I go, yeah, so if I scroll all the way down, uh... Right, so I have assist mode. This is off by default. But there is some actual really nice accessibility features here. And there's some under uh, video and audio, or audio as well for like closed captions or subtitles. But um, with assist mode on, I can add, add extra aim assist. I can add um, aim snapping. So snapping to an enemy when I try to go down and aim down the sights. I can set my resistance, uh, like, you know, I, I can take less damage. Um, oh yeah. Okay. And, and energy or health recovery, I can set that and it's just a slider. It's not even yes or no. I can flat out turn invincibility on if I want to, uh, one hit kills. So you can make this game just super easy if you want to. Um, you know, and they, they do have a dialogue box that says, oh, you know, we meant for the game to be played like this, but we don't want to lock people out. So if you need these features, you know, they don't really, they tell you that it's meant to be played a certain way, but they don't necessarily patronize you if you choose to put these features on. Because, you know, maybe you don't have the reaction time. Maybe, uh, like for me, one of the things I had trouble with is there really got to be a lot of guys and sometimes with all the effects and stuff it was a little hard to see especially off in the distance where they were coming from Federal bureau of control so all these years i've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight so this does look pretty good i mean it's running solid i'm getting a a good frame rate i haven't really had it up oh, i was going to say there i might have had a little chug I'm trying to just jump around and run and, you know, again, just triggering things. I, I don't have, I'm not in a combat section yet, but, you know, I mean, if it's not triggering anything in these big environments, I don't even know where I'm supposed Hello? to go. Hey, excuse Oh, hey, buddy. Janitor guy. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Okay. Very good. I'm out. The janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If I <laughs> don't hire you, later, you are no element. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sound that you hold. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Mm hmm? And I've heard really nothing but good good things about this game. So, especially since they have added these accessibility features, that's why I actually uninstalled it for a little while, but then when they added those accessibility features back, I'm like, you know, 
I do have to give this another try. Part of me does almost want to wait until I get my new rig because then again I can see it in all of its ray traced glory. But like I said, I'm I've become a real sucker for accessibility. You know, I mean that just makes people want to play your game all the more. Okay, that's got some pretty shiny lighting there. I guess I would have to really see ray trace versus non ray trace just to really see. Okay. What do I hit F? Oh, okay, I can click. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the I think I get. They told me I imagined it. I'm trying to remember if I get combat soon or not. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Because I'm playing it right Will from the beginning. Help? And I don't remember... I'm just going to skip the cutscene control. Because again, I'm more concerned about the gameplay here. Alright, so we get out of our elevator. Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. Oh, it is F. Okay. That text is a wee bit shit. small. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, yeah, I think after this little interlude, I think then we're... Pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Hell yeah. Because I'm going to smoke some fools myself. Actually, I'm probably going to get smoked. But... I don't remember much about this game at all. I probably only played about an hour into it. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results yada, of the AWE. Oh, look at this place. Where oh, right. Yes, this weird, surreal spot. Um, I think we are going to wrap it up here. But again, you're seeing that... I'm streaming this game. It is not installed via... Well, it is on my Epic Store, but it's not installed here, and it's running pretty darn good. Uh, if there is any input latency, I don't really notice much. If at all... Oh, okay, we're going to fall in that void, like we're not supposed to do. I thought I could jump and mantle up, but apparently not. I forgot I had to do this before we got to any uh, actual shooty-shooty combat. So I thought I could just run and jump. Yeah, that's what I intended the first time, you stooge. There we go. Climb up here. Oh, that's not going to oh, that's not going to be good. Okay, good. There's a checkpoint. Oh, okay, you want me to fight you. Okay, hang on. Uh, uh, does it tell me a tutorial what I'm supposed to do here? Because I don't, I don't have, I click the mouse and it's not attacking. So, and that text is very small. I will definitely say... Okay, why is it going to a loading screen this time? Okay. Oh, so that's not the same as... Falling off is not the same as dying. Okay. Okay. Well, I just wanted, again, I wanted to show you some classic games that really require, you know, kind of twitchy gameplay. Um, there might be a little bit of input latency, but at least tonight it's been very good. Control seems to respond just fine. The When I fell down that first time, I don't know if that was because of... Excuse me, hiccups. I don't know if that was because it didn't register an input or not, but let's jump. I might have just jumped too early, too. You never know. All right, so I can aim... 
Oh wait, is there a gun that I'm supposed to grab, I wonder? There's a guy out there, but I... Um, yeah, I don't remember what it is I'm supposed to do here. So rather than try to figure it out, I do want to exit this game <clears throat> because I do want to load control really quick in my Epic Game Store because I want to find out... Um, I really didn't have any problems. So we'll rate it good. But I want to open the Epic Store because I want to know if there are more graphic settings. So if you lose some of that customization and some of that functionality that you would get in a normal uh, PC version of a game. So we'll go to my library here and Kataral. Yes, control, I'm just being stupid. Okay, we're gonna wait for it to run. And I'm not really going to play any of it. I just want to go under options and see if it gives me more under video than we did before. I have to imagine that it's gotta. I would have to think that it would. Remedy. Okay, let me skip. Come on. So this is actually installed. Maybe I will just start a new game and just look through the lobby area and see if it looks any, if it looks much better or worse than what I saw on Stadia. Like if I notice a lot more, or a lot less fancy lighting since I'm running an older graphics card. Yep, control. So this will be kind of our comparison. It won't necessarily be side by side, but... All right, let's go to display. Oh, geez, yeah, look at this. We got all kinds of options here. So that, oh, geez, yeah, we got tons of options. Some stuff that's not even enabled because I can't do anything with, uh... Yeah, I don't have... <laughs> I want ray tracing. Look at all those ray tracing purdy options I can't play with. So I have a feeling... I have a suspicion that the Luna version maybe doesn't have ray tracing, which again, that kind of defeats the purpose. It's like, hey, I can play the most fanciest looking games on a streaming service because they're doing all the horsepower and all I'm do receiving is audio and video. Um, I'll have to do a little bit of confirming to see one way or another, but I, I kind of do suspect... Yeah, look at all these options. There were literally like three options on the Luna version. There's tons here. But if I go back here, like I said, I can go all the way down now and we have our assist mode. And it'll, if I check that, oh, it's not even going to let me do it. Oh, I have to check this one. All right, whatever. Uh, let's see if it looks different. Oh, does it remember where my save was when I played this before? Did it just del delete the game but keep my save file? I wonder where it's going to load. I was kind of hoping to do like a one-on-one -on -one comparison of that first area because I have it fresh in my mind, and I don't know what the frame rate's going to be like either. Loading times are a lot longer. That's for sure, because I'm running it on a spinning hard drive right now, not an SSD. Oh yeah, this is totally okay. So yeah, there's my aiming reticle. Oh yeah, it actually remembered right where I left off, so... I probably will start over again just because I don't remember what the controls and some of the other stuff are. But yeah, it remembered right where I was. Um, I have no clue what it is I'm supposed to do, where it is I'm supposed to go. Oh, okay, something's mad at me already. Awesome. Yeah, see, I could snap. I could snap aim. 
Yeah, boom, dead. So, yeah, all right. Well, at least that confirmed to us that you are losing out on some of the customization that you would go that you would get with an actual downloaded and purchased version of some of these games which i get that they're tuning it to a certain like certain graphical settings but if they're going to do that they should in addition to just showing you the limited options that they will let you change they should have a little description to say hey we're running this at 1080p. These are the, you know, we're running this at high. Ray tracing is on or off. Uh, these are things that you would want to know because you're like, well, should I, you know, can I stream this via Luna or Stadia or Xbox or whatever? Or would I really want to look at getting, you know, because especially when I get my new rig, um, if the Luna one is not running ray traced, I definitely want to run my Epic game one. I mean, I would now anyway, cause I already own it, but you know, that's just saying. So anyway, that is a quick look at Luna. The website is definitely at its current point, a little bit more accessible, a little bit more quicker to navigate with a screen reader. You can do it, uh, for some games, if you're using the keyboard, you may want to or have to put your screen reader to sleep or turn it off. But if you're playing a controller based game, you can kind of get away with just leaving it running and playing it that way. Uh, I was able to navigate the main interface pretty well, stream a game. There's also a button to add it to your playlist. So if you're like, oh, I don't, I can't play that now, but I want to add it later. Uh, you can also do that, like right here I'm on the control page, I could say add to playlist, and then that would just kind of, you know, add it to my playing queue. So, yeah, I mean, technically, I think I was having a little bit more hiccups this afternoon, but it's worked pretty flawlessly this evening. I think I maybe had one or two hitches tops. And maybe there were some artif visual artifacts or something that I didn't notice being low vision. But I thought everything played pretty well. There was maybe a little bit of latency here and there. But for the most part, I didn't super uh, notice anything. I wonder if they have a fighting game. Because like a fighting game where you have combos and stuff, I haven't even looked through we got far cry games we got a bunch of those assassin's creed odyssey wow actually assassin's creed valhalla now i think you're oh, okay yeah i need the ubisoft subscription for that well i'm definitely not going to do that since i already got the game on my ubisoft thingy so no i'm not going to buy that again uh yeah i don't know that they're yeah, uh, I think we will wrap it up here, but that gives you an idea. Now, keep in mind, uh, the games are still going to be as accessible as they were anywhere else. So if a game isn't generally that blind accessible on any other platform, um, just because I can navigate the website does not mean these games are going to be any more or less accessible um, in Luna. I am glad though that they did not strip out the assist modes in control. You were able to see that. So if you wanted to play control via the Luna subscription, you would have access to those accessibility benefits. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did give it a like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. We will be revisiting Luna a little bit more once I get the controller and do a hardware review for that. I will continue to play with the service and let you guys know if I find out any other any other um, tidbits about it. The one thing that I was sort of disappointed of now that I think about it though, is I kind of wish you had like a suspend state. Like, okay, it remembers what game you play games you played recently. So I've played four games so far. 
I kind of wish it had like the fast switching feature that the Xbox Series X has where, oh, well, I'm just streaming it on the cloud. When I, if I want to go into control, I don't have to go to the logos every time. I don't have to go to the title. Like I want a quick resume thing to be like, yeah, let's just pop in exactly where I left off. You know, if I pause the game, I could just boom, be right back in my pause menu and away I go. That would be one feature that would make this even cooler because the games load themselves pretty quickly, but even be able to bypass a lot of that intro stuff, I think would be good. So anyway, yep, hope you guys liked it. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, twitch.tv slash illegally cited, illegally cited.com, and of course, right here on YouTube. And until next time, thanks for watching, and I will chat with you guys again later.